In 1982, a unique aircraft took to the skies. For the first time, a fully equipped state-of-the-art teaching hospital had been installed inside an airplane. 25 years on, and the world's only flying eye hospital is still operating, and Orbis International is globally recognized as a leading eye care charity. Initially housed in a McDonnell Douglas DC-8 donated by United Airlines, today this remarkable teaching facility is installed in a wide-body DC-10, generously maintained free of charge by FedEx, just as if it were part of their own fleet. Funded for a quarter of a century by caring corporations, foundations, and individuals, and proudly flown by volunteer pilots from several major air carriers, Orbis has grown into a global network of care dedicated to saving sight worldwide. The scale of the problem is staggering. Throughout the world, 37 million men, women, and children are blind. 28 million of them suffering needlessly. Their blindness could have been prevented or their eyesight restored if only they had access to proper care. On board the Flying Eye Hospital is an international team of health professionals from more than 10 nations working together to transfer sight-saving skills wherever Orbis is invited. More than 400 leading eye surgeons currently donate their time to operate and teach with Orbis. As surgery is performed in the operating room, local doctors sit in the 50-seat classroom that was once the first-class section of the plane and view the operations live on video monitors. While they watch, they communicate directly with the surgeons who provide running commentaries and answer questions. These link-ups are made possible by the audio-visual facility on the plane, which controls the many cameras and microphones. The work of Orbis has been endorsed by 70 world leaders, including the last three presidents of the United States. Uh, all I want to say is that we commend Orbis. We're proud to be a small part of it. Uh, if there was ever an example of a true point of light, one of a thousand points of light, it's, it's Orbis. Blindness knows no boundaries, and Orbis works where the need exists regardless of politics or cultural differences. Three UN Secretaries General have commended the contribution Orbis has made to international relations through this neutral approach. The Flying Eye Hospital garners front page media coverage wherever it travels. It is an unprecedented advocate for sight, providing access to heads of state, ministers of health, and others in positions of power thus allowing Orbis to directly influence those who control the purse strings and can really make a difference to blindness in their countries. And today there is far more to Orbis than just the Flying Eye Hospital. More than 50 further Orbis training programs are carried out each year in national hospitals. Orbis medical fellowships are awarded and a telemedicine initiative, CyberSight, provides educational resources and patient consultation online. Orbis has also established substantial long-term blindness prevention programs in China, India, Vietnam, Bangladesh, and Ethiopia. In these five countries, the critical need is for adequate eye care infrastructure trained staff, and sustainable services that can serve future generations. This is where Orbis directs its efforts, empowering nations to help themselves. During the past 25 years, Orbis has provided medical treatment or surgery to over 3 million people in the course of more than 900 site-saving programs in 85 countries. At the same time, more than 120,000 doctors, nurses, and other eye care staff have been trained by Orbis, 
and they in turn have gone on to use their new skills to save the sight of millions of others who are blind and visually impaired. Thank you very much. At the heart of Orbis remains its flagship, the Flying Eye Hospital. This extraordinary tool, which carries the gift of sight and whose message touches all levels of society. This unique aircraft, its impact undimmed after 25 years. This outstanding product of American enterprise. Orbis is a beacon of light to those in need. It is the responsibility of all of us to fuel this light so that it burns bright and strong, bringing vision and hope to every corner of the world.